This is Kat with Vita Halik, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to tie off and add new thread to your peyote bead weaving. Now this technique will work for both odd count and even count peyote. And today I have a little sample here of 10 o Miyuki Delicas. So I'm using a black thread so you can see my thread pattern. And I'm just gonna start by adding a couple more beads just in the natural progression of your pattern. And what I like to do is I like to tie off in the middle of the bead weaving. That way I don't have any little ends sort of sticking out. And I'm using a size 12 beading needle and the fire line in the smoke color. And this is 0 0.005 inch as well. So I got into about the middle of my thread. And what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take my needle and I'm gonna catch that thread bridge right underneath that last bead that I just, um, this is the bead that I just added and I went through this bead so my thread is coming out here. So I'm going under and catching that thread bridge. And now I just am gonna leave a little loop, put my needle through it and just tie a nice little knot. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over two beads. You can do that in one step or two. And I'm gonna do the same thing and go under and catch that thread bridge. Go through the loop and pull down to tie a little knot. So now I have two little knots in there and that's about enough to secure it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna follow down through peyote and just go back and forth doing one bead at a time and you'll see how that thread just sorta of disappears in there in that bead weaving and what I like to do is I sort of go in a little loop just to make sure that that thread is nice and secure. So I'm actually gonna go through two beads that time. You can go through two or one, whatever your bead weaving allows. And just go through one more. And that thread tail should be nice and secure. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my needle off and I'm gonna leave this here just so you see where that thread is coming. And I'm gonna take my fire line and with my thread zap, I'm just gonna zap off um, as much as I need. I'm only gonna need a little bit for this particular demonstration. I'll go ahead and set all that aside. And now I'm just going to thread my needle one more time with the new length of fire line. There we go. Okay, so I have my new length of fire line on my needle. And now what I need to do is you'll notice that as my pattern progressed, I need to start with this bead. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually go down into a bead that is slightly below and over. And you're gonna wanna leave a nice tail. You're just gonna zap it off later, but you wanna have something to sort of hold since you haven't gotten to it just yet. Oops. And now I'm going through the bead that is next to it. And you're just following along those little cubes, those little steps. And one more, I'm gonna go down. And now I'm gonna turn that around and come up through the speed. And now I'm gonna do what I did early on and create a little loop going through the thread bridge and I'm gonna tie the first knot in this one. And now I'm gonna go down through, and again, tie a little knot. There we go. I got a little tight. There we go. The nice thing about uh, the Delicas is that they do sort of snap into place. So now you're just going to start and add your new beads and you're ready to just continue your bead weaving. Now you can add as many knots or as many twists and turns as you like, but the idea is that you'll just wanna keep following along your thread path and your bead path, just to make sure that all those little um, tails and everything are hidden. So there you go, so you can just continue on in your pattern, and you can do this at any stage. I like to do it sort of as I work, so what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna just zap off my two threads there, so I'm just gonna zap off my two threads there. 
and pull them aside. And now you can hardly tell that I had to do a turnaround on my thread and just add new thread. Now in your bead weaving, I do suggest you use a color of thread that will match yours. So you do see it, this is a little darker on the side, but I just wanted to use that for the demonstration. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You can find more videos at beadaholic.com.